I'm Ted. I'd like to show you uh, just a few of the automata and fun objects I've made over the last two or three years. This is one I've made most recently. This is the young courting couple. A rather shy young man is about to propose to his delighted girlfriend. Various positions is just just remembering out which cords to pull basically. And of course the two birds have a similar fondness for each other I'm sure. One of my, oh, probably three or four years ago now, just an idea I got from a magazine. The old chap uh, catching him with all the latest news. Happy face, but his mood often changes. He always reminds me of Gordon Brown. Gordon Brown? <laughs> what, with the eyebrows? Yeah. yeah. This one I made uh, earlier on in the year. It's just an idea I had for cutting the the driftwood. Quartered, sort of quartered. So, of course, with the effects of the sea and the sun and the insects, it gives like an interesting mm. effect on the on the cross grain. Yeah. It's had about you know five or six coats of matte wood-based varnish just to get that flat effect. This autometer is the white, white hunter theme. Only the other one's been hunted, I think. And this is how everything works. Quite simple, really. This one, I got the, uh, the inspiration from the uh, Olympic Games, which I found quite inspiring. Going for gold. Going for gold. This one, um, this was a lot of fun actually, just called for perfect synchronisation just to just to miss whatever speed you go, look. You just can't quite catch him. <laughs> just can't quite catch him. Nah. This is my local pub on Saturday night. Never a door play. The next Z. The next Z, yeah. This is William Shakespeare, riding one of his many plays. Not many people know this, but he had a pet basset hound. Did he? Did he really? Not really. I just wanted to make a basset hound. I was fascinated by the ears. This was me half a lifetime ago, hitchhiking around Europe, which is a lot of fun, but it could get a bit frustrating when you're stood on a street corner for hours on end. Hence the... <laughs> I've noticed the whirly gig. That's the hunter and the duck. 
Every time he comes up to shoot the duck, the duck goes down. When he goes down to hide, the duck comes out. A bit frustrating, I suppose. Because this bird gets quite animated when, when they settle on this bird feeder. Would you like a quick look around the garden? Go on then. What's this one here? Well this is grandma. Watching the plants. But grandpa I have really. He prefers to read his magazine. In the shades. It's a shame you've missed the first flush of roses there. Dying down a bit now. There will be another show a bit later on in the year. Yeah. I think this looks quite natural. This is my Fred Flintstone garden set. Do you like it? <laughs> Very nice. Well, this is where the grandchildren fly, that's, that's their trios. It's about, about 16, 18 foot. They love it up there though. Yeah. 